American Humane Search and Rescue Dog, a hardworking canine search dog who helped the very same person that saved her from the shelter. She lives to protect and serve. She is Ruby. Every day, she's so excited. She can't wait to get to, into that car. But before she earned her badge, Ruby had a difficult life. Ruby started off at the shelter over in East Providence, Rhode Island. The first eight months of her life, very rocky. Ruby was about four or five months old when she came in, surrendered because uh, she was just unmanageable. Patricia, a shelter worker, fought to find a suitable home for Ruby. Ruby was dynamite, handful, nonstop. She would get adopted, she'd be returned. Adopted and returned, and generally for the same explanation that she was just unmanageable. It became very clear very quickly that she didn't fit into what normal people would expect in a dog. Patricia knew there was something about this dog. There was something about her energy, her focus, her drive. She just needed a job to get all that focused energy to work at. Daniel needed another search and rescue dog and decided to take a chance on Ruby. The training that Ruby had to get was from the ground up. We had to build a foundation with Ruby. Search and rescue dogs are typically bred and raised for the job from birth. There's always gonna be that stigma of, she's the shelter dog, she's the shelter dog. But the second you see her working, then you're gonna be like, oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Ruby completed her training at the top of her class and served the community for several years. And then, in a strange twist of fate, Ruby was called on to find Patricia's son. I got up early one morning, opened my son's bedroom door, and he was gone. He had been missing for 36 hours. We've been on a lot of these types of cases, and uh, you know, they don't end well. Daniel and Ruby searched nearby hiking trails for several hours. I see Ruby ahead of me, and all of a sudden, she just puts her head up, Beelines, gone. So I'm running after her. I'm calling her, calling her. She won't come back. All of a sudden, we turn the corner. There's two black boots on the ground. Oh my God. And there she is, licking this young boy's face. So I came right over the radio and I said, 223 to Gloucester, please. I found him, I found him, and I'm screaming. It's nothing short of a miracle. I mean, here's a dog. Sorry. That was, you know, almost ran out of hope and a woman who saw good in her, and she paid it forward a hundred times. And I said, yeah, Ruby, Ruby found your son. He's alive. And she started crying. That was uh, phenomenal. I don't know how else to describe it. Mrs. Zimmerman hasn't seen Ruby in seven years. So she comes running over, and it was like a long lost family member. Ears go down, tail starts wagging. It was like they never had been apart later to reflect what a big role she has actually played in my life is mind-blowing, yeah. Give a shelter dog a second chance. And if you give a shelter dog a second chance, it could possibly change the world. She changed the world for this young man. <laughs>